hello come coming back I came back sorry thank you so much マイク戻り元に戻りましたかねこういうことがあるからなだけた。Alright, let me redo it again. Thank you so much for coming to Sashiko live streaming. This is Atsushi. Sakura is here as always. <laughs> Hello, so this is the Sashiko live streaming where I stitch Sashiko while talking about Sashiko.、Um, this is not a lecture, this is not the tutorial, so if you could join while you are doing something else,、um, this is my intention to make it. A, ibasho, a place to be. So it would be great if we can stitch together over the internet. And I would like to apologize first about the last previous week's live streaming.、Um, I could, well, for some reason, for some reason, my brow browser was not doing a great job. And although the chat says it's on, I could not see any of the, your,、uh, any of the comments or chat. As the result, I completely ignored your chat throughout 60 minutes. So I, I really apologize for that. This time, I believe that I can. Like, I, I am reading your comments, so I will reply to your questions or co comments. So last, last week, I was not being mean. I was just, for some reason, I did not think about the possibility of browser being malfunctioned. I was too tired to even check it. So, this time、um, I have everything set up. I believe that the audio is on. Phew. So, let's go ahead and start the video. Alright, I will move to the. Oh, Sakura, can you say hello? Can you say hello? Well, cats love Sashiko, or、well, cats love thread. Anyway, I'll move the camera to the actual stitching. Oops. Okay. Let's do it. さくらごめん。さくら。ちょっとごめん。ちょっとごめん。ちょっとごめん。Okay, let me check the audio again. Okay. <laughs> so much stuff going on. I don't know what happened to the browser last, year, last week. It was very weird. Anyway. Well, I hope everybody's enjoying stitching or you know, stitching for, that, for, this, for this live streaming. I hope everybody's enjoying stitching in this crazy t- Bye! Bless you. My cat, Sakura. Sakura is our cat's name. She may have allergies. She sometimes sneezes like that. Does cats sneeze like that? Kind of don't remember. The previous cat didn't sneeze much. Oh, thank you so much for getting the thread. Yeah, this thread is one of the. Well, this thread, I cannot. Well, I can, but I do not want to do any sashiko without this thread. So, thank you so much for getting that. It's really. It pays off. <laughs> it, it is a little bit expensive in comparison to the other thread, so called sashiko thread. But since you, we spend a lot of time on this project, Like when you do sashiko stitching, probably it's, it takes a lot of time, right? Like it's not gonna be over a few minutes, it's gonna probably be a few hours. 
and this thread has a f 145 meters, so it, it is really, it's not that significant difference when we compare the uh, length and also the quality. Thank you. It is probably interesting. Like it might be interesting to hear that, but some, you know, I always get a question like, why is your stitching so different from the other people's stitching? Do you? Well, then they start saying that, well, you have many years of experience, and that makes a difference. It is true, it is true that I have more experience, but probably that's because of the thread. <laughs> of course, technique is important. Technique is important, form is important, uh, fabric is important, needles, simple, everything is important. But usually thread is the first thing I would ask them to check if they don't like their stitching. It's the first ingredient. Not you know, It's the first ingredient. You, you, I want you to be careful when you want to make a good sashiko stitch. So I do have a several platform on the social media. One is on the Instagram, which is probably the biggest, uh, because I every I try to upload it every day. And uh, YouTube is one thing I'm doing it here, so it's you know it's more interactive for those who can come to the YouTube. And the last thing is the Facebook, but the Facebook is kind of scary place. Many people quite hostile and I sometimes get involved into those nasty conversations but there are many many examples of why do I have to speak up so it, I, I sometimes forget why I speak up like this because you know, Facebook, I mean, YouTube is one of the places that I do not really get the detail backlash. I don't think there were anybody who was actually writing something negative. Well, there was somebody, but it, it's not recent. It was. It has been a long time since somebody wrote nasty comments on YouTube uh, live. So everybody's nice here, and I kind of forget that why am I doing this? And YouTube, I mean, the Facebook is sometimes a good place for me to remember why. And <laughs> it takes a lot of energy, like we call it emotional labor, right? It takes a lot of emotional labor, but at the same time, there's no choice to not to talk about it. So, like, well, this place is very comfortable that I tend to forget about what's the most important thing. And, well, there's a reason. There are reasons that I speak up. My many colored sashiko thread from you works extremely well on your needles. Thank you. And there's a Japanese proverb saying that the kobo wa fudewerabazu. Uh, the master doesn't pick the brush when they do the Japanese calligraphy. The true master do not choose. Like they, they can use any brushes. Like their result is not gonna be different based on what they use. The tool is not the thing to change their um, result. In Sashiko, it does. <laughs> Well, I am not a master master for that matter, so if I become a master, probably 
No, no, I'm sorry, it's not gonna happen as long as I have to keep using this thread and needle and fab. Fabric can be quite flexible, but needle, thread, and thimble, those threes are very... Like, it's, it's like eating sushi without soy sauce. It's probably doable, but you need soy sauce. Some people are be brave behind a screen and keys. I wish they would do the same in person and suffer consequences. <laughs> consequences. You can do a very moderated group on Facebook that members have to abide by rules to stay in the group. However, it does require some amount of effort to keep it safe place. I do have one. I do have a one group for that. Um, but I am also the member of different, like a bigger group, more like gen generalized, generalized group. There's a group called Sashiko, and there's a called, there's a group called Boro. And although I, I respect their uh, administrate uh, admins because they have been doing that for a long time, and there's nothing wrong with what they're doing, but it is very big. Sashi the group of the Sashiko is very big that anybody can say anything about it and it is very good place to learn what is going on in this trend. It's, you know, no matter what I say, the trend is there. It is kind of too late to adjust that because uh, it has been already filtered by non-Japanese people many years ago, not many, 10 years ago or so. so my goal is not to sort of lead the trend to the different direction. It is impossible because they will listen to whatever they want and my voice is not comfortable to listen for some people. As a result, of course, they will listen to the comfortable voice. So my goal is to not more like include something behind, something left behind. I would like to make sure that I am not missing any part of the culture of Sashiko so it's more like a backing it up, backing it up, backing it up. So it is very important to check from time to time. It, it can be very tiring, draining. So I don't really go there every day, but sometimes I, especially somebody speaks up, especially when somebody speaks up, I try to follow that. So anyway, I have a Facebook group called Japanese Sashiko and Boro. That purpose of that group is to leave the image of Sashiko and Boro done by Japanese people, or somebody in J Japan, somebody in Japan, or somebody who can speak Japanese. So anybody can post, anybody can make a post of Sashiko or Boro, but when they make a post. I ask them to write their own understanding or stories about Sashiko Boro so that we can talk, we can, you know, learn each other. The Japanese people who write a post in Japanese do not have to go through that because that's the, you know, that's the true picture of Japanese Sashiko right now. Even if that's not my Sashiko, it's not, even if it's not the Sashiko I like. As long as they write in Japanese, um, if you can write Japanese, doesn't have to be perfect Japanese. Uh, my, my English is not perfect. Uh, so that's the Facebook group I have. I have to delete many people. <laughs> I have to remove many people because they don't follow the rules. But that's the one group Jade suggested. So if you want to check it out, please do so. It's the Japanese Sashiko and Boro. So for that matter, I may have to say at some point that the Sashiko and Boro in English is really not the Japanese Sashiko and Boro. It's like sushi. Sushi in the US is completely different from the sushi in Japan. So, and everybody knows that it's different. <laughs> nobody, I hope, I hope nobody's teaching that those gozira roll is the Japanese traditional sushi. It is not. It both the, the Godzilla roll is very tasty, but it's not the traditional thing. Lily san, thank you. Uh, I drew a line on this sarashi. That was my mistake. It was two centimeters instead of two inches. 
I draw Kagome pattern and that Asano pattern. That's a little too... That's a little too small. <laughs> that's one thing, like, you know, the... Japanese use the e empirical empiric why do we you have to use the inch <laughs> or feet I am getting to that I'm getting used to that feet inch feet yard it is extremely difficult to convert it so two inch this is two mm, I believe this is two inch let me check this is yes two inch two inch we I call it two inch just normal patterns but sometimes people understand that this is a two centimeter and two centimeter snow patterns it's a little tight not a little it's very tight so be careful with that I really if there's anything I can ask for the help to the sort of bigger organization can we like world organization can we unite unify the unit either way is fine I, I'll get used to that but since I get used to the centimeter meter kilograms grams and it's quite difficult to I am new to Sashiko can you please tell me and show me the little things about your ring please check the videos on this YouTube channel there are tons of YouTube videos for that. Yeah, two inches like four or five centimeters. Five centimeters might be my favorite. Well, it, it is very important. For, I understand that it's really easy to use the template, and there's nothing wrong with using the template. Um, but there's a one drawback of using a template: you cannot change the size, or you cannot, you know, you cannot modify as you wish. So if you could, like, there's tons of you. Actually, I do have a video of how. Hmm? I do have a video here explaining how to transfer the pattern on the fabric as well as how to draw the asano patterns on the fabric um, please take a look it's not the best it's not the best videos because i am doing the editing as well and in comparison to the other you know youtubers who is really good at editing it's horrible horrible but if you don't mind watching cramsey editing the information is still there, so you can, you can probably learn something new. Uh, uh, this might be something. <laughs> this might be something bad to say, but some Sashiko teachers teach that in their workshop. That's what I have learned. So how to prepare the patterns on the fabric. Uh, how to stitch those like well, what is the order of stitching those patterns uh, she or he talks about those things in the workshop and then they really do not talk about the stitching itself like they said that let's stitch together well that's not something I would like to do and that's not sashiko but teaching how to prepare the pattern is not sashiko so for that I almost offer not almost I it's there for free. I don't think yeah, I should charge those things. So Diane, 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 um, if you could watch the videos, that'd be great. I do not make this live streaming as a tutorial, so. To be fair with everybody, it'd be great if you can watch some videos later on. Can you tell me more about your Patreon account and what will be available there? Ah, uh, thank you. Thank you so much for that. Um, Patreon is the place where I write more honest things. Uh, there are a few tiers. 
and most of the tiers are sort of fulfilled because uh, because of the COVID pandemic, it's extremely difficult to get supplies from Japan and I have to make my ends meet. I am kind of accumulating a lot of funds for those who expect the tangible returns. And I do send sometimes the message to ask for the, um, the preferred, preferred colors. Always, I, I can adjust it like it's... I feel bad that it's not catching up, but that's the these are tiers that you can choose, and some of the tiers comes with the tangible returns such as thread or fabric. Uh, but main thing is that you can choose to have a base minimal like support, and also one is one that comes with the limited discount, like ten percent off for such a thread up till eighty dollars or something like that. <laughs> but the reason the whole purpose of the Patreon is to share something more more honest. Um, as much as I share my honest stories on Instagram, I am not sharing everything. I'm not that stupid. I mean I am stupid. I, I'm really I have that I, I have to admit that I'm stupid, but I'm not that stupid to share absolutely everything it's so dangerous it's extremely dangerous to share everything there but i like to share everything at some point i like them somebody know what's going on so patreon is the page where i do so by sharing some stories and i have about 150 something articles so far accumulated um, since I'm doing everything by myself, I cannot promise how many articles you will get every month or so, but you will get the you will get a support of well if you take the online class you will get a support anyway. But on the Patreon I will answer any questions regarding culture uh, in the first priority. So it's more like the place where I ask you to support me so that I can keep writing. Instagram doesn't really bring me any funds for that matter, uh, but I have to write. I have to keep writing, and when I write, there sometimes I have more stories behind the Instagram. Um, Patreon is the place I write those things. I hope it makes sense. I'm really not good at explaining that, uh, but it's not a place where you can get a like a patterns or some extra tutorials because it's already there it is already there on the YouTube uh, pa patterns you can probably Google first and then you can get it for free so it's not really that more like it's my personal stories uh, including what is Sashiko and why we do this Okay, uh, Library of Lily. Oh, sorry. I have been watching your videos for a while and they are very. Sorry, they really helped me learn a lot about the Shikon visible, visible Mending. But, they, but this is the first time I was able to make it to a stream. Thank you. Welcome. Valid. I have this connected social media where I share different aspects of my life just so I can talk somewhere about everything but no single person sees it all, all or can easily connect the dots it still doesn't cover everything really though well it is you know almost impossible to share everything but i would like somebody to know why i am doing this for example, like you know, I really do not explain why I am teaching Sashiko. Like, what the heck does it mean that he was born in the Sashiko family? I say that. I, of course, I say that, and I explain what it means. But like, I, my life of thirty-eight years 
cannot be summarized into one or series of Instagram posts. It's you know it's a long story, and it's not, I'm not gonna be able to write one long story. But in Patreon, I am trying to share why I am sketching right now today at the age of 38 in the U.S. Like where why did did I choose to jump into this sashiko after all that kind of thing? Hello, 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 hello. I sometimes talk that on the YouTube, but I don't want to even go back to the archive to find where it was. So if you don't mind watching the, all the YouTube live streaming, you may find it, but still I do not really talk everything. Some people say that I, I am very... Mm, I don't want to say privileged, but I am very privileged in Sashiko because I have a background, so and that's not that's what not many people have. It not many people have the background of Sashiko. Uh, they can say, of course, that they learned from their grandmother or they learned from their local places, but it's not like a big back up organization business. I have that. You know, I saw Sashiko probably before before I saw my father's face. You know, right after right after my mother's belly, I probably ra was wrapped with Sashiko something. So I saw that the next thing was Sashiko. And that's my life. So it does not really connect the dots. And the on the Instagram social media I do have a reason to share those stories, to keep asking, not asking, to keep encouraging them to acknowledge what Sashiko is. If they know what Sashiko is, well, if they listen to, if they know who, if they know what I exist, if they know that I exist, and then if they decided to ignore it, that's a completely different story. I cannot change it, so I have to fight back. But I don't, I hope that we are not that selfish. We are more decent. It's my hope, but I hope that humans can be more decent. So when there are stories behind it, when they listen to the stories, they can little bit care. Not like they don't have to change anything, but they can little bit spend little more time to care about it. And the saddest case is that they don't know it and uh, they mean well but they might be uh, destroying somebody's culture because they don't know it because the people in that original culture do not have a way to speak up so that's a very unfortunate case scenario for both parties and that's something i would like to avoid if somebody is trying to appropriate the culture on purpose for their profit. That's not something I can change. Or I don't, you know. It's gonna be a nasty fight if I have to change. I have to be on their stage because fighting itself is already their platform. Uh, fighting itself is not the Sashiko's culture. So insisting is really not our culture. So what I have, what I can do only one one thing i can do is to ask ask to acknowledge it and when they acknowledge it i hope that they will find out that the teaching sashiko in english can be very shallow or very superficial then i hope that they will stop learning from them and then when they stop learning from those instant teachers, the teacher will stop teaching Sashiko because that's not that's a part of their career. It does not have to be Sashiko. They use Sashiko to make living or to make money. So if the Sashiko did started not making money, if the people decided to not do 
offer the money to those things, they will probably stop teaching and doing it. Because, you know, there's no point. I will be doing sashiko regardless. Regardless. No matter how many people following this, no matter how many, how less I make money out of doing this, I will keep doing this. And I can do it because my wife is the, <laughs> thanks to my wife, I don't have to you know, worry about tomorrow's bread. At least I don't have to worry about tomorrow's bread for my daughter. So... That's a long way to go. But yeah, that, that's where I am. People are going to take advantage no matter what, but the goal is to help people who are doing that accidentally to stop talking and taking advantage. Right, um, and it's wild because most cultures have their own history of visible mending too. So, like, why can they learn about their own history and teach about that? And it's, it's <laughs> yes, th th that's exactly the point, and that's exactly the kind of conversation I had recently in the, on one platform. Um, somebody said that that's not Sashiko kind of thing. Like, th there was a photo uploaded, and then some. It's all happened in English, so it's really no Japanese are involved in that. Um, one, somebody who speaks who write in English posted a photo, and the other person said that's not Sashiko, that's not Boro. And that's kind of, you know, that's trigger. What is Sashiko and what is Nalo, what is Boro is the good trigger to start conversation about uh, the cultural perspective. So, it is none. Sorry, just a second. Whew. Anybody can name anything. <laughs> like, every single culture has the stitching culture, and then they have, a, of course, mending culture, visible mending, invisible mending. We use needles no matter what. Like, we. we that's the culture, that's the history, everywhere. I don't think there's a culture or civilization where they did not use any needle. In any, like, fishing, anything. So each culture, each region has the needle work, and of course that's the, you know, human's wisdom, so it, it is perfectly fine to follow, copy, and it is likely, some, like it is, it is very likely that somebody was doing the exactly same thing, or very similar things of what I'm doing right now. So it is, technically speaking, understandable that Sashiko is not so unique. But there's one thing it is extremely unique. It is Japanese word. Therefore, it has a very big connection in the root to the Japanese culture. So when the Japanese people say that this sashiko is not like unique, I understand it is not. But when somebody who does not really understand Japanese culture say that sashiko is not unique, then my question is why don't you find your own name for that? Stop using the word. They use the word sashiko borrow because that makes either attention or money. Um, they can use they can use that word. I am okay with them using the word. But the problem is, if they are not willing to learn, why do they have to call that? That's that's really basic, fundamental motivations for me to speak up. So anybody can call their stitching sashiko if they try to learn what sashiko is for me, for us. Because yeah, Sashiko is the Japanese word. And if they want to do whatever they want, that's perfectly fine. They can do whatever they want. But why do they have to use the specific word that they don't know well? Why? Because they, you know, there are reasons behind it. Because that's very convenient for them. 
So if they think it's convenient, then just name it. Say it, it's convenient. <laughs> oh, I am using the word Sashiko Boro because I get more followers. That's a complete sentence. But you have to keep saying that. They have to keep saying that. I don't care about the Japanese culture, but I'm using the word Sashiko because I can get more followers. Some people might say that it's a cultural appropriation. I don't think it's a cultural appropriation. It's shallow, but I'm okay if their goal is that specific. The problems I am getting, like, I'm the problem, only one problem is that this can be a cultural appropriation is that those who think they know about Sashiko and trying to change what Sashiko is based on their convenience. Like, for example, the symbol. Some people say that in Japan, many people say you can use this symbol, or like you have to use this symbol, you don't have to use this symbol, you need this symbol, you don't need this symbol. In Japan, there are a lot of discussion. It is very true. In my Sashiko, we practice in our specific region, we have to have this symbol. It has to be leather, it has to be metal, not the leather. But there are many, many answers based on where you learn Sashiko from. However, if one stood saying that Sashiko does not require symbol, you don't have to use the symbol as the universal answer, that is erasing the culture of our Sashiko by those who can speak. Because I, if I would not be able to speak English, it could erase all of my Sashiko because nobody could speak up in English. So in, in English is also the strong language, strong tool. So by somebody who receive English as the first language, using the word Sashiko to maximize their convenience or comfort or profit, intentionally by intentionally changing what it is, that's the only case. <laughs> That is the only case. So, strictly speaking, it's not probably the definition of the cultural appropriation. It, it should be more strict. But I am not really... I am the one who was appropriating the culture a lot when I was in Japan. So I am not gonna be that strict. I don't... I'm not ready to be that strict. But... I have to be strict to that part. Not a strict, I have to be honest to that to that part because I have to protect myself. Sherry, I learned Sashiko from an instructor in a night workshop some ten years ago. Night workshop. I stopped going when she could not tell me anything about Sashiko history or culture. Yeah. That's very unfortunate, but that that's what it is. Unfortunately, this might be a big phrase. I'm sorry to say, correct me if I'm wrong, but I may be the first one, first Japanese with this much experience in Sashiko and who can speak English without translating like this. Like, I am not translating anything in my brain. I am speaking out of my brain right now, right? I'm not translating anything that I wrote in Japanese. I am speaking in the live, although it's not a perfect English, it's a second language, I am speaking from my brain. I can answer any questions here. Usually, the Japanese who can speak English like this much do not come to the Sashiko area, because Sashiko doesn't make a living. Like, Sashiko itself does not make a living. I'm sorry to say that, but there is no way to make a living out of Sashiko. It's hand-stitching. So... Those who spent a lot of energy, money, time to learn the second language to this level, they don't come to this field. They go to regular field like business, import, export, and there's a lot of you know field you can be exported. So I may be the first one who is native in Japanese, has so many years of experience in Sashiko, and then can speak English. I can get it, I can speak English because I always wanted to get out of the Sashiko. I hated it, Sashiko so much that I came to the US. So, unfortunately, 
there are many sashiko teachers who does not know anything about history like they they think that sashiko is the part sort of the japanese embroidery happened in japan which is true which is really true but because of that there are a lot of history stories uh, around it uh, without that What's the difference between sashiko and the other embroidery, right? Like they cannot explain the difference between the sashiko and the other embroidery, and that does not make one as a teacher, in my opinion. So don't go to the teacher. Like it does not have to be only sashiko or this borrow specific topic. What do you think? Like one teacher is keep saying just because or simply, and cannot explain the reason behind it. Like, why do you use this thread? Why do you use this specific oven to make pizza? Just because. Sure. Why do you use this cheese? Just because. Uh, you simply sp sprinkle some uh, some random cheese over the <laughs> tomato sauce from the Walmart, and you bake it in the specific oven. Uh, there's no reason to use this specific oven, but we use it. So that's that's not a culture. That's not that's not a culture. If you gotta introduce a specific oven, you have to explain why this oven is used and why do they recommend them use to use this oven? Kind of cheese, how they should shred it. But there's always the stories behind it, and that makes a culture. Without story, they are just... I think that's the appropriation, right? They are appropriating, appropriating the culture there to make money. Anyway, cultural appropriation is a very sensitive topic. Many people start backlashing me because they think... Some people think... Some people expect me to say some specific things, although I'm not saying that, they they listen to as if I'm saying that. Like, I never say that you cannot do sashiko because you're not Japanese. If I say that, just ask me, because that's some English issue. I never think, I never say, and I will never ever say that you cannot do sashiko because you're not Japanese. I guess. Never ever might be a little too much. If I keep getting damages, <laughs> if I getting if I keep getting damaged like this for 10 years, 20 years, I may start saying that because mm, never ever is a okay, sorry. In 2022, I will never ever say that you cannot do such a good because you're not Japanese. I will never say that. Because I don't feel like that. You can you can do sashiko. Anybody can enjoy sashiko, and they can enjoy sashiko as they wish. But I want them to learn why they call this the sashiko by learning the stories behind it, and that's it. Not more than that. Not less than that. If you're gonna teach sashiko, then I hope you will learn from somebody Japanese and specify who you learn from, so you don't have to rewrite everything. So you may find the Japanese sashiko teacher who is teaching different things from me. Uh, the difference is not, it's not going to contradict. What I teach and what she or he teaches is the same culture. It's just a different region, different style. So it does not contradict. By specifying who you learn from, by naming your sashiko as like specific like region of by using a specific name of sashiko <coughs> it means that sorry <coughs> you're not writing the whole picture Hi it's different to make those changes as an outsider say it is necessary than it is to make that claim as an insider who is participating in defending the technique. Yep, well, I'm learning this call and this this concept as well. So I might be wrong, but that's my honest honest interpretation. 
there is no difference without the culture there they might as well just say it, it's an embroidery class that uses Japanese term patterns yeah So, I don't know if this is Japanese thread or not. Like, I, that's the whole point. They might not be using the Japanese thread or even Japanese pattern. What is the Japanese pattern to begin with, right? It might be Chinese pattern. And if they're using DMC thread, it's not made in Japan. Um, some Japanese thread maker may be made in China. My thread is made in Japan, but, you know, who knows? Who knows? So, without stories... Unfortunately, culture is not the culture, and the word is important because we imagine what it is by word. If you say sushi, you don't really expect something watery. <laughs> you don't expect soup, I guess. So the you know word carries the image, and that image is very important to protect the culture. It's all about the layers of knowledge and respecting the original to the particular technique. It is. Uh, it is a layers, but I personally, but this is a very personal thing, but personally, I do not really... Hmm, the layers, the numbers of layer does not really matter to me. This is a personal thing. So, of course, the more layers you have, the more layers of knowledge and wisdom you have, the better it is. But there's a big barriers to get inside of the layers. Like, try to learn or not. Try to learn. Like, there's <laughs> so, I don't want to say so many, but there are quite many artists and also teachers who block my account. Which is perfectly fine, but that means that they don't want to listen to my stories. My stories are too uncomfortable for them to read. I mean, not following is one thing, but blocking is one thing, right? I don't, I don't mind them not following, but I don't mind them blocking me too. But that explains a lot. Ah, makes sense. That's a, that. That's the biggest barrier I see. Why do they call it sushi for them? I have no idea. I think people become uncomfortable with you because you're telling your truth about sushi in Japanese culture, which conflict with the Western story being told about sushi Yes, and that's very true, and that's the reason one of my dear friends who I respect to told me that it's too late to share what sashiko is. I agree with that. It is too late to share what sashiko is without the pain. It is not too late to share that, but I will have a lot of backlash because it is already established in English as a trend. Sashiko is becoming the English word. Scary for me. But it has become, like, it has become or has been becoming the um, English word. So saying something outside of the definitions non-Japanese people made already can be very uncomfortable because they thought they learned the answer and I am saying that's not the whole answer. That's, that can be very annoying. I understand that's, can, that can be very annoying. But that's you know, that's a very unfortunate that nobody could speak English until recently from Japanese Sashiko artisan. But hi, yay. I, like, the point is, I don't stop doing this. As I keep saying, like, it does not really, I have no choice. Even if I don't have, like, even if Sashiko becomes the out of trend, if nobody cares about Sashiko, I still doing Sashiko. That that's that's the difference. I will not go anywhere. If you like Sashiko, I'll be always here. I am gonna be always here. Huh? I will be here all, all the time.
<laughs> Miri san. <laughs> anyway, you are my wonderful Tashiko Tutu and very interesting friend. Interesting. Interesting. I know, I know we're friends, but interesting. She's Japanese and she once told me that her English is not that, you know, good, but not good enough. I mean, not good enough to have a conversation in English. But that interesting can be interpreted in many ways. So, a very good friend is always a positive, but very interesting friend can have a many meanings. So, then I have to agree, I am an interesting friend for you too, yes. <laughs> two lilies, yeah, two lilies are great. Lily, Lily, the person with the name Lily might be interesting too. Also, I found it really, uh, sorry, I also I found it really interesting that the quilting book has such and such cool because they define quilting as sewing three or more layers of fabric with patterns that makes air pockets. Definitions changes, so I've I've learned that. Well, it might be wrong, but you know I I've, I've taught in this quilt con this year in two thousand twenty-two, and I've learned that it does not have to be three layers to be called quilting. I'm sorry, I'm not laughing. I'm just... What is... The definition changes, so... It is really interesting. But... We, well, Western people, American people, really like the definition and answers. And they like also breaking that. They like to go over that. So... Not funny, mo naka naka sasari masyo. Not funny. <laughs> yeah, I, I take it as a compliment. I take it as a compliment. I've heard of Sashiko being thought to, to, as Japanese darning, but I never heard of it being thought thought of as Japanese quilting until I started learning about the quilting. Mm, I do... Part of the sashiko is probably... Mm, it's kind of interesting, but the part of the sashiko has the element of quilting, and the part of the quilting has the element of sashiko, so it's a two different thing, and there's a, something in common in between. So, it is not really, it's not exactly the same, but there are many similarities between. So, I am learning quilting as well, and it is really difficult to define what is sashiko and what is quilting. Like, if I have to draw these clear boundaries, I may say that I don't want to do that, because it can be interpreted in many ways. So... Three... We, we put that sometimes, you know, cotton... Not a batting, but cotton filling in between the jacket to make it warmer. That can be part of sashiko. Um, English-speaking artisans love their categories. That's why it's classified with quilting or darning. Yeah, I have to really learn. I have to really learn about the kind of boundaries. If they draw the boundaries, um, I have to. I would like to learn what is the boundaries in between. As a person who is learning quilting specifically to make patches and not quilt, I agree on the bending the rules and breaking definitions. So, I think it's okay to break the rules when they know the rules. Does it make sense? If you know the rules, go ahead to break it. But in Sashiko, unfortunately, those people who are breaking the rules do not know the original rules. 
that's the point. <laughs> like if they can talk, if they can discuss about the original rule with me in Japanese, I don't mind them breaking the rule. Bring it on. I would like to learn from them. But they just don't know the rules. Um, Sherry, Boris like quilting is a little bit too simplified. Boro is not the quilting. Uh, Boro end up with like quilting but the purpose is different so quilting is really not equal to the borrow and borrow is not really equal to the quilting sashiko may have more similarities to quilting but borrow and of course of course there's some part of like a very old quilting can be categorized into borrow as well but in today's world, if I say that boro is like quilting, many people misunderstand. And that's the understanding as of now. So it's really not mistaken. You are following the sort of the simplified version of the definitions in today's world. Boro is not the stitching of many layers. Boro is not the word for the stitching of many layers. Neither so that, that's that's very much the understanding of what boro is, but it's not. Stitching of many layers can be quilting, but boro is not that. There's no such a thing as boro stitching, if I can go deeper than that. There's no such a thing as boro stitching. We never say we let's do boro. That's that's not a Japanese word, Japanese language. That's probably really that's probably why people are saying that like they're trying to frame it and think they're familiar to them. Probably. Yeah, and I understand. I understand it. Like I would do the same. I have to probably categorize something to my understanding. So it is perfectly understandable, but but Yeah, Helen is right. Um, Bolo happened. <laughs> Boro happens and happened. And this is something I keep saying, so I, I think it's okay to say it, but there's a significant difference between... There's a significant difference between Sashiko and Boro. Like, they... Talk about sashiko stitching, boro stitching, sashiko style, boro style. They try to kind of compare. They they are trying to draw the clear boundaries between sashiko and boro by comparing, right? Um, but that's already incorrect. It's not wrong. Well, it's wrong. I'm sorry. It's wrong. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> the sashiko stitches, sashiko stitching versus boro stitching is already wrong. So. If I have to define, if I have to define, the sashiko is the form of stitching. The Japanese people in Japan, yeah, the sashiko is the form of hand stitching developed in Japan based on the Japanese culture, and boro is the result, one result of the repetition of sashiko stitching. So it does not have to be layered. It does not have to be um, batted. It does not have to be patchworked. It's just one result. Like little is Helen's right, borrow happened. Happens. So if we keep stitching like today's Sashiko stitching, if I keep using this fabric only for a hundred years, I probably have to keep adding the stitches. Sometimes probably I have to make patches which I do not want to. That's why I'm stitching right now to make the fabric stronger. Then after all, all of those stories, Boro happens. Yes. And Boro happened. <laughs> and the, the things we can find in the museum, those are something happened. So, yeah, it's. There are tons of stuff that it's not. 
Well, yeah, it's too late. I mean, I'm sorry to say it's too late. Too late to start something to go against the rule. I'm, I'm like, it's really sad, but it's too late. But I will not stop. She was really worried about me being hurt. But I don't... I do mind the pain, but I, there's no way around it, so I have to do it. Helen, I really like it. Bolo happens. I used to say Bolo happen do, but it's it's really better. Bolo happens. Yeah, so that... <laughs> I don't want to say shit happens, but that, that's the same... Same thing, right? Shit happens, Bolo happens. By the way, Boro and Boro means feces, horse feces in one term. Like Boro means literally means the horse feces. So Boro happens can be shit happens too. That's like a nice summary of today. Where is the needle? Oh. I should make a t-shirt like Boro happens. It's like a Hidden message that shit happens. It's not, you know, it's not a serial word. Oh, Jen, I'm sorry, I missed your comment. The books for the Western market needs to fit library categories too, yes. So the books are quite difficult. Publishers have to make profit. <laughs> of course, this is very true. Publishers have to make profit. And in order to have a good sales in the Western market, you have to have an answer. You have to have a thesis, of, of course, but you have to have a thesis. And usually when it comes to the crafting, you have to have a how-to and goal, right answer, wrong answer, directions, how to do it. I don't provide that because me saying that might this might limit other people, Sashiko. Uh, as the result, I cannot publish a book from the publisher. Like if I write, you know, they are, sometimes I receive the suggestion to publish a book, but they're, suggestion suggestion the draft or well, like those table of contents is pretty much how to and I, I know that will sell a lot because you know the, from the japanese artisans blah 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 blah, blah how to make these such cool stitches like this of course but that's not what i want to teach because then people will probably misunderstand sashiko based on what they know already and they can be very confident that they know the japanese sashiko because of my book that's a little scary and i cannot control that because books i don't know who is reading it like online class in-person class i know who i am talking to so that's a big difference <laughs> oh, so borrow happens t-shirts <laughs> is happening. And that's a good idea. Huh? Borrow happens. If I <laughs> there's a service that we can make a t-shirt, right? Borrow. <laughs> but yeah, borrow means that the horse fish horse 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 droppings. So if I grab the borrow means I grab the horse feces. Portal happens. Oh, Lily, oh, no, no, Lily. Oh, yeah, I'm making a visible mending class and I wanted to explain where the modern Western trend coming from, Sashiko, but I had to rewrite my thing so many times because I couldn't explain Boro. I ended up just saying this is probably wrong and I'm qualified to explain this. So go. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay, it's my, it's me. On me, it's on me. Borrow happens shirt. Okay, all credit goes to the Helen, so. Uh, 
Boro is... I don't know if I can give you the quick answer, but you can use this as my word. Uh, I really do not explain that on my Instagram briefly. If if the, your you know if your students can read all, all of my Instagram and also YouTube video, that's perfectly fine. But people, if they kind of try to get an instant answer, my Instagram is not the best place to do so. So. The one story I can share today probably is that the Japanese people did sashiko like this because they did not want to do mendo. The, the this thread, this fabric, this by doing this, the fabric will get stronger. By stitching, fabric will be more durable. And they did a sashiko because they did not want to do the mending. So if you see the good borrow pieces, there's always a front side and back side, front side and hiding side, showing side, hiding side. Hiding side has more patches than the showing side. Showing side, ideally, it looks like a one sheet of fabric, the like same color, similar color. And back side, you can use the as many patches as you need, not want. You need to do it. So. Of course, and they, it's some people say borrow is the art of random, but I do not believe in that. More like it's the kind. I feel the pride, women's pride, to make it beautiful, no matter how difficult their life is, challenging that life is. But it was not recommend. It was not recommended to show their patches. Well, it was not something to be proud of. And that's the original form of boro. Therefore, boro is actually a visible mending. It's not a visible mending. Boro is more like invisible mending. And appreciating the mending is a very beautiful culture. It is a very beautiful culture, and I you know support that. I like visible mending as well. But Saying sashiko is the form of visible mending or boro is the result of visible mending is based on the choice we have. We can make it visible mending. As the result, we are using the word which might not be exactly the same. So if the people who use the word visible mending or invisible mending know this story, I think it's okay to use that word. But if they think that Japanese people used like made boro to show off their mending, that's very inaccurate. I got a request from Lily san to share the sound of pulling the needles out. And I believe that this the thing I talked about, the invisible mending and visible mending, is not only Japanese culture. I, I just don't know. So anybody who you know teaches visible mending and invisible mending, I would like them to you know just think about it. Not the there's no answers, but I just want them to acknowledge that. Including Lily San too. I mean, okay, look, visible mending, mending itself is a very beautiful culture. I mean, I'm not gonna say it's a you know wrong trend. It is a great trend. We all should do that. And this little bit of, I think the key word is the choice. Either based like we can choose that's why we tend to focus on the result answers definitions but what if we cannot choose we by imagining what it would be like then probably it's gonna be easier to explain what sashiko is and boro is It is it is very difficult. I mean, I'm not gonna take it easy on this one. It is extremely difficult to sort of 
feel natural about this because I am not feeling natural to jump into this culture. I am trying my best to be, you know, American. But it, it is always, every day is a little bit of a challenge, so. Here, though, so while I'm doing Sashiko, while I'm sharing Sashiko, it is the sort of Sashikos. I have to push my Japanese-ness here. I will stitch all the like rectangle line and then straight line. So two more lines. Bear with me. So yeah, there are tons of stories that I would like to share. And then Patreon is one place. And then we can come back to the today's topic, which I completely forgot. Is that um, there is image, there are images of the Japanese people imagine or expect when they hear what Sashiko is. And that might be different, that might be different based on the generations. Uh, my grandma's generation might have different things, or my new generation might have different things. It's not right or wrong. <laughs> There's no right or wrong, just I want, I want to ex introduce all of the images, especially those who are about to go, which is very rude to say, but we are the last generation of I, we are the last generation of understanding what Sashiko was like. So those who are about 90 or 100 years old today are actually watching their grandparents or great-grandparents stitching out of necessity 200 years ago-ish. two hundred Like 150 to 200 years ago, there were still Sashiko out of necessity. And those people are the last generation of what we do, so... I like to preserve those images instead of something new, colorful. And I, I mean, I'm very much graced for that because I had to listen to those stories when I was a child. <laughs> and <laughs> that's everybody's go through that. Just listen to the thread too. And also, there's a video, <laughs> there's a video online on this YouTube that how to not to tangle your Sashiko thread. Once you, <sighs> where was the last time I tangled my thread? It happens. It really happens sometimes, but not all the time. So, good luck. I mean, good luck and good job. I was going to say something I think I told you about. Ah, well, I, I always say this one, but... Um, <laughs> the more I get followers, the more I get enemies. So there are one, there's a one big fan of me who keeps... Always give me the... Uh, like bad reviews, like not good review. So... <laughs> There's always one, even before the live streaming start. So he or she must really like me. But anyway, because of those, and um, in order to keep this account held so that I can keep live streaming, it would be very much helpful if you could press the like button. The account health will be d determined based on the ratio um, of the likes, I guess. Yeah. So, ratio of the likes, so if you could press the like button, it would be very much appreciated. Anything else? Anything else? I 
think I can do the live streaming next week. I may be a little late. I will update it. I have to go to New Jersey a little bit. So I will do it, but it might be a little later than this time, usual time. Mm. It's probably two uh, one hour or two hours delay, possible delay. Or I might skip altogether. I, I will make sure to make a post about the schedule, so if you could check it. <laughs> that's a really <laughs> has Sashiko made it into Japanese movie or anime no I don't think so it's not that popular in Japan like not like I, it's the popularity outside of Japan is scary because I don't think not many Japanese people know the word Sash I mean Boro or Sashiko it is known better known as the craft but Let's say 20 years ago, nobody knew about the word borrow. Nobody. It's it once dead. That's the whole that's the whole point. Like we Japanese chose not to continue Sashiko. So it's actually a once discontinued culture. We are trying to revive as much as we can as the way they practice. And now somebody else is changing it. That's why I'm getting, you know, speaking up. Oh, Kimi no Nawa, the your name happened in my city. The next city that I was born, not in my city, the next city. So yeah, they may have used the similar patterns, but it's wait no. No. No, that's not the same anime. But there's no anime or movie specifically featured Sashiko or Boro. There are some actress actors who you who wear Boro jacket or Sashiko jacket in the movie. So Sashiko was used in the movies before. We sometimes contribute to that movies too. But <laughs> not the movie. Movie anime, those has to be sold. Yo <laughs> I don't wanna say it, but everything goes around the money in this world. So of course anything can happen, but those has to be producing. That's why it's so difficult to preserve the culture. People follow the easier way. Easier way is easier way to make money for the people who has money. Brain dead. We just follow. They, they, this world is designed to just follow. Like the more we the more we become brain dead, the better it is. I don't like it, but that's how this world is. Sashiko is really not. You cannot be brain dead in Sashiko. You have to focus. Well, I'm kind of brain dead when I'm doing Sashiko. <laughs> but you know, <laughs> you have to kind of think. You, you don't want to be brain dead like I am to do Sashiko stitching. You can be as creative as you want. 
but for me following those pattern preprinted fabric with those stitches size already preprinted just following that as if you are finding the right stitches that's a little bit of too much of following you don't have to follow anything you, I just want you to know <clears throat> same reason I'm trying to hand up teaching visible mending and so on I'm disabled and can't work traditional job and I'm just trying to find a way to make income yeah so this is something in this world in this society um, it feels like the more hmm, the people with more money is the better people who they are and that is not true <laughs> I mean of course money is important money is very important I'm not gonna you know minimize that but at the same time, it's really like a trend. I wouldn't have this much followers if the sashiko has not become the trend. Yet I would be still doing the sashiko regardless. When I decided to do the sashiko, I put money as a side because this doesn't make money. But it's okay, it's because that's my fate, that's my life. Uh, today, engineering probably computer science people will get the highest pay because that's what society is needed 30 years ago 40 years ago probably that was a bank because the financial system was more strong I don't know about that in 50 years from now but we all have some rules in the society not a rules but mission I had a probably a path to be the engineer but I can be one of the engineers but I am the one in Sashiko for that matter because of very unique background and because I hated Sashiko so much for so many years I just can't speak English so of course anybody can be replaceable for that matter but if I have a mission to do that's Sashiko for me So, it is very important to think about it, but at the same time, it's not an absolute criteria to judge people. That's why I kind of do the live streaming as well. As much as I want to, like, I offer the online class and I offer an in person workshop. And of course, it's going to be much helpful for me if somebody takes the online class and workshop, but I understand that not everybody can do it. I don't want to filter people based on what they have and what they don't have. So, but I have to make my living as well. So, this is live streaming is one of the solutions, one of the things I can offer. If you, if one doesn't have money to afford it, then he or he, they can spend more money, not my money, more time on this live streaming so that they can probably learn from something. So, you know, there is a way around it. But the best part of Sashiko is that you don't have to be fast. I mean, there's, there's a so much, fa there's a faster, there's a fastest thing you can do. It's, in, it's hand stitching after all so no matter how much you try to be faster there's a limit and you have to spend 90 hours hundreds, hundreds of hours thousands of hours in stitching and as the result what you can get is a complete conversation with your, within yourself I don't think anybody can avoid a conversation within yourself to yourself in thousands of hours of stitching you have to at some point face yourself 
and that's the biggest part of Sashiko. You have to accept, in one of you, they, we sometimes have to accept where we are. Um, when we cannot accept it, then the misery can start. M misery starts when we cannot accept it. And the way to accept, there's a many way to accept the reality and who we are. But Sashiko is a very good way to do so. And when we accept who we are, it's kind of easier to find a way to go through. And you think that it's philosophical too much? I think it is too philosophical too much. But that's what the Japanese culture is all about. It's Zen. It's um, Wabi Sabi is not exactly it, but this is the Shinto that we kind of believed in. The exactly the conversation within myself through Sashiko is an important essence of Zen and also Shinto, which I cannot explain verbally because one has to experience that. How do we experience that? Do we have to go to Japan to, you know, be the to train themselves to be the monk or Shinto? prayer priest no well of course you can't take that way but sashiko can lead once to that status when they do not focus on the result when they do not focus on the, like i have not looked at these stitches at all right when was the last time i checked my stitches i don't remember but i'm finishing it and I'm talking in English, my second language, and I'm checking the comments. So I'm my focus is on the screen. But usually, when I do it myself, I sometimes have Netflix, sometimes music, but it's me, and it's me, thread, fabric, and needle, and thimble. So it's sometimes they start talking each other, and that's a great conversation. And when we can hear those conversations, we can appreciate those things more. Things is like a matter, <clears throat> needle, simple fabric, and pretty much what we have now, which is what we are. And when we can appreciate, we can accept that. <clears throat> so it's like a, you know, <clears throat> excuse me, it's like a little circle going around. Sorry, I completely skipped all the comments. I'm sorry, I was in my speak speech mode. <laughs> um, I enjoy drawing out the geometric patterns that I stitch. It's very mindful. Yes, it's one of the things. Like, sometimes people enjoy the preparing the fabric. It depends on the pattern, though. <clears throat> Thank you, Helen. I will stop soon. I really want to be successful in my class because I wanted to fund my free content too. I want to build a digital library about my source I used. Yes. So it is free to copy. Like you can copy what I'm doing. But at the same time, if you copy, try to kind of mention that way you copied. By doing so, you will not destroy the important contents by copying. The copying, copying is great, but by mentioning where you copied from, um, the original contents will keep, can, well, can keep creating more content. It's stupid to kill the content creator or where you learn from, because they might be, you know, they might be producing more milk. Milk. Candida. When I do Unshin for Sashiko, I find it talks to me about how it wants to be. 
uh, wonderful. <laughs> See? That, that's how fast people can get it. Like, that's, that's how... Well, if I can be a little bit out of humbleness, that's, that's the reason I kind of consider myself as a good teacher, because people who learn from me are getting so better so quickly that I feel jealous. Like, I, it took so many years to be like that, but like finding talks while you're doing such cool teaching, that's awesome. That's, it took like 30 years for me to be here. But that, that's the whole point, that's the core of what I teach and what I do. I feel the same way about my embroidery candida. Yes. So it, it's, it's really <clears throat> everywhere. <laughs> it does not have to be this running stage. <clears throat> but Sashiko is not making one perfect stitch or even stitches. Like, may, let's make you have to make a rice grain size stitches is, is so ridiculous who said that do you think that all Japanese people tried to make the rice grain size one by one first what kind of rice are we talking about see like I don't know what kind of rice they had to is it like buckwheat no it's the, you know the rice is different so Anyway, that's a that's a long story. Like that's a lot of quetching, so I'm not gonna. Well, I quetched a lot today, but I'm not gonna continue quetching. I was gonna finish it at the 10:30, but just give, let me finish this much, and I will wrap it up. Is quetching the English word? My daughter is not saying kvetchi. She said, did I kvetch a lot? Then like, mm, what does it mean by kvetch? Yep, so don't, don't, don't ask me that question. Don't ask me that question. Because I don't know. I would like to ask them. Like, what kind of rice are we talking about? Candida, of course, it's my pleasure, and there's nothing I can teach after that. I'm so sorry to say, but there's nothing I can teach after that. Well, I can probably share some of the recipes of what we make, but that's about it. So, enjoy sashiko stitching. It's, you're gonna find your own sashiko, and that's that's the pleasure. So this is gonna be this. This is gonna be this. So our and hour of talking and this much right so my goal is to make 90 I don't know if I talked about my goal but ah well my wife is Jewish so that's a Yiddish there we go so that's that's <laughs> which means my daughter is Jewish too so that's that's a good word so this is going to be the result, and I'm making 90, 90, 90 piece of this one, and I'm about 20 something. And the goal of this project is, uh, <laughs> I will explain some point in the writing, but the goal of this project is that I kept saying that the result doesn't matter to me, like. One of the pure message I have is that result is really the secondary. Result is very important, but I focus on the process more. I would like to talk to myself while doing sashiko. That's why I do a lot of running stitch. So in order to kind of justify that, I wanted to prove that I'm not get tired of one specific patterns. And the whole point is to keep moving the hand. And therefore the pattern doesn't matter so I decided to make a hundred meters of this patterns and I will co connect it I will connect the edge I could not <laughs> cut the hundred meters fabric this length it's too oh, too much budget
So I will make 90, 90 I, I, this is about 100, sorry, 110 centimeter. So I'll make 90, probably 80, 90 piece and I will connect it and I will hang it somewhere. I don't know where I can hang, probably put on the floor or something, or driveway, road. Anyway, so that's the whole purpose of this uh, Asanoha patterns which I'm getting tired of it. <laughs> to be honest, I'm getting tired of it. <laughs> but after 20 pieces, I'm I don't want to do that. So I kind of do something else. Like I do denim. Sometimes I do different things. But I will try to finish it ideally this year, maybe next year. But it's going. It's all going. Okay, so this concludes the today's live streaming. I went a little bit over time. Thank you so much for your time. Um, I again, I will probably be able to come back on the ten o'clock around this time to start to start the live streaming next week. But I cannot promise. I I will keep updating the. Um, I will keep updating the uh, reservation. No schedule. So please check that next week. Okay, thank you so much, and I will see you next week. Eh, Nihongo wa kyo no yoru, mata kawarazu onaji jikan dai ni yoru tomemasu. Yoroshiku onegaishimasu. Alright, thank you so much. Have a good day.